Hey, homies. What up, Carl? What the fuck is going on? Do I look like a hooker to you? What? Those assholes keep saying shit to me. Who said this to you? Fucking structure workers up that hill. I'ma fuck them up. Nah, hold up. I got this. I need to go teach him a little respect, huh? That's right. Yeah. I've been thinking about getting me some new land anyway. All that damn clatter! Holy crap, I didn't see nothing! Yeah, what? Yo, man! It's Jethro, dude! Hey, Jethro, what up? Well, I was talking to Caesar, and, uh... Well, don't get me wrong, dude. I mean, you are one out there dude when it comes to driving, man. But Caesar, he told us how many cars you get through, dude. And me and Dwayne were like, whoa! What is your point, Jethro? No, no point, man, no point. Just that there's an advanced driving school, like, just up the road from the garage, man. Like in Doherty. Driving school? Man, exactly what you trying to say, man. Nothing, man, nothing. It was Dwayne's idea. I think you're, you know, cool and shit. I, I better go, CJ. I'll see you later. CJ! You got it? Hey, my cousin just called me. He gave me a tip about a baller's car going to San Fierro to score yay. Shit. We gotta find out who's supplying those cats. Read your mind, Holmes. I picked them up at the Mulholland intersection, and I'm trailing them now. Okay, I'm coming to meet you. Better make it fast, Holmes. These boys are hanging around. Oh, my God. 
Where we going? They were headed over Angel Pine Way. Follow the road and maybe we can pick them up. There it is, Holmes! Rod! You sherm head! This business is bigger than any gang, S.A. Rod! Little bitch! This guy take himself real serious. That's T-Bone Mendez! What now? Is that it? Hey, who's the gringo? I don't like the look of that guy. This more than a few thugs pushing product. It's a serious organization. How many of these clowns are there? Ah, I know a pimp when I see one. They being clever about this. It ain't no exchange of nothing incriminating. That was some heavy shit. We better split up and get out of here. I'll meet you back at the garage, eh? Coolio, we got what we came for anyway. Hey, man, you get them flicks developed? What's up, woozy? Hey, Carl. I was just explaining to your brother-in-law that we were friends. Oh, yeah? Well, look, woozy, I need to get some info from you, man. And what exactly do you boys want to know? Who are these putas, Holmes? Why don't you go take a look? These guys? Yeah. They're the loco syndicate. They're pretty big time, I think. Don't have any dealings with them. We don't touch blow. Now, this guy runs things. I don't know his name. This guy is T-Bone Mendez. He's the muscle. And who's that guy? That's Jizzy B. He's the biggest pimp in town. He helps set up the deals. You know, uh, concierge of sorts. Hey, did he my way in? How I get to him? Oh, Jizzy? Jizzy runs the Pleasure Domes Club in that old fortress under the Gap Bridge. Hey, good looking out, Woozy. No problem. Don't be a stranger. All right.
See, baby, I got everything. Mink sheets, mink coats, mink curtains in the window. When I walk down the stairs, I'm walking down on mink car. Now, who's this trick? I don't need no more friends, baby. All they try to do is peel me from my hole. Nah, nah, it ain't about them. It's all about you, player. I heard you was the man with the hookup, and you was the man I needed to see. I'm offering my services. Say what? Yes, sir. See, I'm new in town. Anything you want, I can do. For a guy like me to work with, to work for, a guy like Jizzy B? Well, well now that you mention it, I do have a slight problem. Something a little dumb muscle like yourself might be able to fix. Because you see me, <laughs> I'm intellectual. <clears throat> Bitches, y'all walk on down to the bar and fix a pimp a drink. Mm, mm, mm. See, I only got two eyes, and in these streets, you got to have more than that. You got to be like a flying shit, you know? A hundred eyes everywhere. Now some lunatic been fucking with my bitches. My fucker killed two last week. I want you to go find out. No problem. You my player partner now, Jizzy. Wait up! Mr. C to the J! See that pretty young thing in my car? Drop her off at the hotel downtown. Use my car phone and give me a ring a ding when you're done. And watch the rims, player. Treat that baby like the Pope Mobile. Boy, what a strong bitch, huh? Oh. Ever had half and half with a social like me? Yeah, go on. I'll do things your Ruka won't. I'm listening, honest. I'm no slut, but I need the feria. Uh-huh, real interest. Whatever, puto. Hey, Jizzy, it's Carl. I just dropped off your girl. Church, got a little errand for you to remember before you deal with that problem I was just talking about. Some young buck thinks he's a player been trying to peel my holes over in Hashbury. Now, one of my girls over there just eyeballed the punk. I want you to get your ass over there and ice that pretender. comes my player, now you in real trouble. Man, I ain't got time for you. Hey, it's CJ. Just to let you know, you don't have to worry about no competition in Hashbury. Worried? Did I say I was worried? No, I did not. Now to the real deal. Some of my girls in the Foster Valley been getting knuckled over. I want you to get your ass up there and nose around. Find out what's going on. Oh! <laughs> 
Mr. Jizzy, it's CJ. You the bad luck charm, Flunky. That girl you dropped off downtown wants out of the game. Her sugar daddy wants to take her off the streets. Nobody turns my hoe. You get your ass back to the hotel, and you make an example out of all of them. Sent me to save your threadbare soul, harlot. Get in the car and remove your filthy vestments so I may better gaze upon thy corruption. Driver, get us out of here before the devil's right hand snatches this poor girl from salvation. Right away, your evangelical holiness. Everything's been taken care of, Mr. Jizzy. Oh, CJ, you's a player's right hand, baby. Oh, and by the way, that car's just come up over on the APB. Dump it, keep it, whatever. Just keep it away from me, my hoes, and my club. Oh, for sure, you got that, man. Hey, what up, Z? Nothing is up, Carl, apart from my blood pressure and the imminent collapse of my hopes and dreams. Why? As usual, the forces of darkness have triumphed over good. Life is nothing but misery, briefly interspersed with agony. Homie, what you own? Whatever it is, you need to reduce the dosage. Excuse me, but I never take drugs. We all know drugs are for losers and or sex maniacs. And right now, sex is the last thing on my mind. Thank God for that. Berkeley is back. Oh, Berkeley. Yes. Who the fuck is Berkeley? Oh, just a man I once beat in fair competition. A man literally obsessed with revenge. Oh, you put hands on him? No, please. <laughs> I never initiate violence. Oh, I know. You knocked his bitch. Uh, no. I won the prize in the science fair. <laughs> First prize, that is. And now you want to pop you? <laughs> no. And they say gangbangers is petty and small-minded. Hey, what's that bleeping sound? That's him. We shall fight to the end. Berkeley's launched a full-scale attack. This is insanity! All batteries commence fire! 
He's going for my transmitters. If he takes them out, I'll never be able to launch a counterattack. No problem, man, but they're only toys. They're not toys. They're just smaller. CJ, bogey's at 12 o'clock. Great, kid. Don't get cocky. RC Barons at 9 o'clock high, Carl! Lee, <laughs> as long as we have opposable thumbs, we will fight you. Well done, Carl. Now leave. I must prepare for the battles ahead. Never have so few owed so many. Too little three... No, that's not it. What is it? We will fight him on the beaches. Well, rooftops. Hey, Z, where you at? Go away, Carl. I'm, I'm very, very busy back here. Top, top secret stuff, not for your eyes. Too sensitive. Come on, homie, where are you? I said go away, Carl. I don't need any friends today. Thank you. <laughs> Man, them some pretty strong draws. Yes, my hero. Carl, he came back and humiliated me. I shall probably turn to prostitution now where I will be found dead and broken. I am a 28-year-old man whose landlord just helped him down from a hook from which I had been hanging from my underwear, contemplating my inadequacy for nearly two hours. Ow! My crack. Look, you gotta get even, homie. What kind of weapons you got? 
Uh, I've got a prototype of a miniature plane. Oh, well, with that plane, we gonna go humiliate Berkey. Mm. Okay, cool. Man, this is ridiculous. That went right up my crack. Berkeley has his sycophantic lackeys do all his deliveries. Well, we shall hit him where it hurts the most. Bring his mail order model business to its knees. Launch the Red Baron. choice we have. Just one more and Berkeley's mail order department is finished! Zero? I'm off to engage with destiny, good or bad. What the hell are you talking about now? The hour of judgment is upon me, and I must ask myself if I am a sheep or a goat. Carl, will you be my second? Here are some letters. I've left everything to you in case I don't make it. Please. I already own it! What's wrong with you, man? We are crossing the Rubicon. I am to engage in battle with Berkeley. At stake, honor, and our very lives. It's funny. I've never noticed before how beautiful this time of year can be. I may never again see Rome in the springtime. <laughs> a butterfly. Come on with all the talking, man. Is you gonna battle Berkeley or what? It's a fight to the death! Come hither! Behold, no man's land. Man, y'all take this shit seriously. Berkeley's headquarters is across no man's land. I'll drive the bandit, you fly the goblin, and help any way you can. If I get the bandit into Berkeley's base, he must leave San Fierro for good. Let battle commence!
Shitskis! Carl, this bandit's nearly had it. Oh my god. Berkeley shot this bandit up pretty good. Ha ha! Ha! Berkeley, you, sir, are a loser. Leave the field of battle in shame, pack up your crummy mail order business, and get out of my town! Carl, you were all a duelist like me could want in a second. Sir, I salute you. <laughs>